Hi, welcome to Opsimax Spinnaker training series. In this video series, we're going to see how to integrate Jenkin, a CI tool with Spinnaker. So what I have done is uh, I had created a new instance in AWS and uh, it is running on Ubuntu 18.4. Um, it's a base image which is having um, nothing on it with just updated patch. That's it. But in your case, if you already have a Jenkins server uh, in your uh, environment, you can use that instead of creating a new instance. Or else, if you are very familiar with the Docker exposing the ports, um, so you can have a Jenkins uh, Docker image and expose the port to the specific uh, port, and then you can configure that as in your Spinnaker. But since it's um, a demo and tutorial series, I've created one instance uh, with Jenkins. So in this video, I'm going to share it with you how to install uh, Jenkins on the fly and how to configure that newly created instance with Spinnaker. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to log into this machine. Uh, so I'm going to take the IP of that uh, particular Jenkins machine which I created. So copy the IP and uh, go to your terminal. So I do have keys under my um, Okay, I'm already in a server, so let me log out from that server. Okay, so uh, I've already have the keys, so SSH, I, and your uh, AWS keys, and it's a Ubuntu machine, so I'm logging as an Ubuntu user, and uh, copy the IP address and paste it. So the IP address is this one, and paste. Yeah, so now we have uh, logged in. So after you log in, you have to clone uh, the Opsimex tutorial, which I've already there. So go to our uh, GitHub slash Opsimex slash Opsimex Spinnaker tutorial and uh, clone this repository. So git clone and the URL. This will clone the repository. And uh, you can see a new folder, which is Opsimex Spinnaker tutorial and navigate to scripts directory and there you have a file called Jenkins install at SH. What I have done is I just scripted uh, that installation of Jenkins so that uh, instead of uh, running and typing each and every commands one by one uh, due to the time constraints and for the demo purpose I've just put everything in a shell script and I uh, gave it for the users to try on. So this is nothing but uh, it will update the latest patches and install uh, open JDK 8 and GNU GPG, RNG tools and docker.io. So the reason why I've installed GPG keys, RNG tools and docker.io is in my future videos, you're going to use the uh, deployment of uh, docker images and, uh, and sign in with the repository packages. So you need a dependencies. So for those, I've enabled GP GNU GPG and docker.io. And then uh, you have to accept the keys, which is a Jenkins key. Uh, so we're going to add this using this command. And, uh, and also like uh, updated the source list uh, as per the Jenkins. So whenever you have a new version there, it will help you to update your machine. And then you install Jenkins. And then Jenkins will be started. So just simply run that command as a sudo root user. So sudo sh plus x and the Jenkins. So this will install Jenkins on the newly uh, installed or newly created Ubuntu machine right now. I'm going to pause the video right now. So um, so once it is done, I will resume it. All right. So Jenkins has installed, and uh, to verify whether Jenkins is running or not, you can run the command called sudo systemctl status Jenkins. So this will. Um, list out whether the Jenkins service loaded successfully or not as you can see it is active and uh, by default Jenkins will listen on port 8080 so to verify it you can use netstat iphone yeah ntlp it's like I, I did generally use that command and grip for 8080 yeah it is uh, listening mode so yeah, so uh, now uh, to uh, to check whether uh, the server uh, Jenkins is installed successfully or not, you need the public IP. So um, you can either go to AWS instance and find the public IP, or there's one more uh, um, and trick which is called curl if config dot me slash IP. This will give you the public IP address of any AWS machine. Or if you are in any cloud, you can use this command to get the public IP address. 
copy this um, IP address go to your new browser tab paste it and port number so this will uh, take you to the Jenkins uh, sign-in page as you can see now it's a freshly installed um, Jenkins it is asking you to enter the secret key so the secret key will be uh, under var lib Jenkins secret start initial admin password so you can get it from the server itself so just scat that file and you can get a long string yeah you should be sudo to read that so try with sudo and it's a string copy this and paste the administrator password and continue and I'm going to save it and then it will ask you to uh, install suggested plugins or select plugins I'm gonna go with the default one so click on install suggested plugins and that will install the required plugins for Jenkins yes so uh, now the plugins have installed so it is now asking you to create your first admin username and the password so uh, uh, remember your username and password at the time of creation so here I'm gonna create um, spinnaker iPhone user and the password uh, let's say uh, I'll give you the basic password like okay okay and uh, spin a car user and uh, spin a car at demo.com it's, it's just a dummy email address remember your username and password so it is spin a car iphone user and the password is one two three four five six seven eight i know it's it's dummy username and password just for the demo purpose i'm creating so copy your username so you you're going to use it at the time of uh, integration with Spinnaker and save and continue so this should uh, create an admin user called Spinnaker iPhone user inside the Jenkins so yeah once it is created we're gonna log into our uh, Spinnaker uh, instance and using some Halyard CLI commands we will add this Jenkins admin user and integrate with Spinnaker yeah it just created and uh, it is asking you to uh, give the URL if you are already having a DNS you can have a DNS information over here since it's a demo I'm gonna leave as it is with the public IP and port 8080 yes now start using Jenkins that's it so now we have a running uh, a Jenkins instant with Spinnaker user so now let me log into the Spinnaker box so this is Spinnaker and I'm going to copy the Spinnaker public IP copy it and uh, I'm going to exit from the Jenkins machine and uh, give the Spinnaker IP address enter and log inside the Spinnaker box alright so now to enable the newly created Jenkins CI and integrate with Spinnaker I have some notes for you guys and the notes is already there in the uh, Opsmax Spinnaker tutorial under that notes Jenkins hal text. so what we are gonna do is we're gonna use Halyard command to configure CI and we're gonna enable Jenkins so once the Jenkins enabled we're gonna add the Jenkins server so using add a parameter and the name for the master server and the address and the username which we just created and then we password once it is done uh, this command is uh, required only if the Jenkins is running which is older version since we are already in the latest version 2.2 .2, the CSRF feature is already enabled if it's not enabled if you are running the older version of Jenkins try to enable it manually I've already copied this in, uh, in my uh, text editor and I'm going to replace it with, uh, with the respective uh, changes so just copy this command to enable Jenkins CI in the server copy and paste this will ed enable the uh, Jenkins CI in Spinnaker which is enabled now and uh, you have to replace this with the respective names and the CA name I'm gonna give is um, Jenkins master underscore master is the name I'm gonna give and address IP address the p which is the public IP address 
so get the public IP uh, address of the Jenkins so get the public IP address copy it and uh, replace the address here and username is spinnaker hyphen user that's the username we created spinnaker hyphen user and password you, you don't need to supply it uh, due to some security reasons you just give iphone iphone password and hit enter it will ask you to enter the password so copy this and go to the spinnaker machine and paste and enter it will ask you to enter the password so the password i've already given and enter so this will enable the uh, jenkins master uh, server inside uh, spinnaker and now uh, to enable CSRF, just replace the required fields, paste it, and CSRF copy and paste. So this will enable CSRF um, or security standards in uh, Jenkins and in also in Spinnaker. So now to view all the changes, what we have done, as as we have seen in my previous video, go to your home directory, dot hal, and config and search for Jenkins so now we have enabled Jenkins yes Jenkins is enabled and we have a master which is Jenkins master and the address username and the password and CSRF is true so this is how uh, you will enable uh, Spinnaker um, uh, like enable Jenkins and Spinnaker just imagine if you are having uh, more than one Spinnaker or sorry more than one Jenkins machine on your on your infrastructure to enable it so you have you can have multiple uh, Jenkins masters or slave so for that you should be having a key value pair like we used to do in YAML configuration and this entire uh, Jenkins and CI uh, integration in Spin Spinnaker is taken care by eGuard service so this is the eGuard service eGuard is a service that provides single point of interaction with continuous interaction and source code management SCCM also so eGuard does support uh, Redis and Dynamite as a database so if you are planning to have either of it due to production or security compliance you can use it and this is the um, uh, and also it does support SEM services like Bitbucket, GitHub, GitLab and Stash and for integration of CI these are the services out of the box it supports IGOR and uh, yeah with this I'm gonna end this um, series of how to uh, complete or integrate your Jenkins CI with Spinnaker. So, thank you.